Wow. Ah. <laughs> uh. So that's not the first thing I think of. And I didn't touch my nose. So I had to be the one to ask Jason Monday to take a picture with us. And I was like, would you do us the honor of taking a picture with us? Because I'm classy like that, people. And we took a picture. And I was right next to him. Oh, my gosh. And Alex Carpenter photobombed us. <laughs> and it was like really discreet too like he was there but we didn't even think about it and then once the photo was done he was doing whatever it was he was doing acting so casual like I didn't do anything <laughs> oh my goodness that was awesome ah and oh my goodness and there um there was an opening band opening was a rock band Hold the Mooney Tunes, and I found them after the show, and they gave me this button for free, um, so I could remember their names, so I could look them up. And they were so funny. They were so funny, and they had this song about the Hunger Games. I didn't know what it was about, but it was pretty. I mean, I don't know. And then Jason Monday came on the stage, and I sang. Um, ready for anything the whole crowd of people I was jumping I was dancing and I was clapping and it was awesome and when Christian was on stage like oh my goodness he there was part of one of the songs where he like looked over to our part of the audience and he looked at our little corner a three-person corner that was right at the front of the stage and he like nodded us and gave us a little wink and oh my goodness we totally just fangasmed we all looked at each other like oh my god oh my god oh that was so oh my goodness ah uh, brain exploded all over the place alex was like singing Remus Lupin songs, and he was like, sing along, and I was trying to yell so loudly. Ah, uh, it was so awesome. And then we did Looking for Trouble, and I did the ba da buzz and it totally blew my mind because I have been like looking at videos of that in the concert, and people are always having so much fun singing the ba da ba ba da ba and I was like, I want to be in that audience, and I was. I totally have been like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it's real. I feel like this is a dream. Like, I dreamt this and it didn't actually happen. It was so crazy. Which is why I'm glad that they gave me this button and that I got the CD. I got Christian, um, Christian Calder's CD and I got them to sign the flyer. I got them to sign the back of it. And, um... And Christian, he signed the CD for me too, signed the inside cover. Oh my goodness. And oh my god, I was such a crazy fangirl. I was so, like, I see how I'm talking right now? That's how I was talking the entire time. Like, I was trying to be smooth, and I was trying to act like it wasn't a total big deal, but it so was. I was freaking out 
so much. Alex Carpenter is like the nicest person on the planet. He's like so friendly and excited about everything. Like we went up to talk to him and everything he said, he was like, yeah, yeah, oh my, ah, oh, yeah, totally me, oh, ah. Oh. I was like, oh my God, oh, you're so cool. Jason Monday conducted the crowd so well and his set and was playing and it was like, ah, oh. and he had like an acoustic guitar and the like background and they gave him a time for a guitar solo and he was like, all right, everyone sing the guitar solo. It was awesome. Ah, and oh my goodness, Christian Caldera, like, like I liked his Oliver Board the Remember All music and stuff, but listening to his original music, it's so cool and it's so like, oh, like, oh my goodness, like he has the type of voice that is just so sexy. Like, you listen to his voice and you just can't help but like lick your lips because it's so, mmm, so good. And see, I, like, I was, I talked to him like three, three separate times. I swear, I did not finish a single sentence any of those times because I was just in awe of him. Because <laughs> I, I went up to him to buy the CD. And I was like, I would like a CD, please. And he was like, which one? I was like, yours. And uh, th those were the only two sentences that I finished. And I don't think yours really counts as a sentence. And then I came up to him to sign the flyer and to sign the CD. And I swear, every, everything I started to say, it just kind of died in my mouth. Because I was just like, oh, God, you're so awesome. I can't think properly. Oh. And I'm making this right after. Uh, as you can tell, because I have my very Potter shirt on, um, that Alex recognized, but I'm not going to be putting this up until later, because I want to edit out all the craziness. I wish every night could be like this. I wish every night I could just get dressed in nerdy clothes and go uh, or be surrounded by nerdy people and listen to nerdy music and get photo bombed and not okay not completing my sentences is probably something i don't want to repeat because that was a little embarrassing and i met like other real people and there were people that oh i just made me miss my friends so much like there was a girl i don't know who in particular she reminded me of but it, she was just like you you should be my friend because that is you you are your crazy personality is someone that i should be around and and it's like and there was this guy who introduced me to the girl, to his group of friends, and he was so awkward. He wasn't even there for the nerdy music. He was there because he was with his nerdy friends, and he, like we started talking, and there would be awkward pauses where both of us were like, "Are you gonna talk now?" Or it was funny and awkward, very very awkward. <laughs> Guys, we need to go to a Wizard Dog concert sometime. Because that is the best experience ever. It was like, oh my goodness. I, oh, I, like, it didn't feel so afraid to walk up and talk to people because I knew that we at least had one thing in common. It was so, oh, it was so cool. It was so fun. I want you all to be my friends, people from the Contour Phoenix show. We need to all be best friends. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I just thought you should know that I'm so happy. Thank you for watching this. Um, I hope that you feel the excitement that I feel. Ah! ah! Oh my goodness, it seriously took like all of my strength and energy not to scream every time I saw like Jason Monday in real life and like as the three dimensional people and every time I like literally I drove up, my, my brother dropped me off and we were like driving up and I saw, and the first thing that I saw was Jason Monday in real life and I just screamed and my brother was like, whoa, what, what's going on? And I was like, that's, that's Jason Monday, he's real, oh my goodness, ah, just, oh, it just blows my mind, it just blows my mind, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, yeah, so I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop.
Okay, I'm good. Bye, YouTube.